Hi there, welcome to Taking the Biz, the channel dedicated to A-level business revision. If you're new to this channel, definitely think about subscribing for updates as new tutorials become available. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a concept known as Elkington's Triple Bottom Line, a theory that is underpinned by something known as the shareholder versus stakeholder concept. So in business, there are two competing ideologies or philosophies about what the purpose or the obligations of a business organization are. Some organizations are firm subscribers to what is known as the shareholder concept. The belief that business's only real moral obligation is to the shareholders that own it. The purpose of their business is to reward its shareholders, to make profits, to give good dividends and returns, and as long as businesses stick within the parameters of the law, any decision can really be justified if it improves the profits and the returns to the owners that run the organization. But many businesses actually challenge that assertion and are subscribers to what are known as the stakeholder concept, which is the belief that businesses are working within a, a broader community than just having to look after their own shareholders, and that businesses have a moral obligation to act in a corporately social responsible manner. So that means not just accounting for the needs of their shareholders, but considering the needs of other stakeholders as well, whether that be their employees, their customers, whether it be their suppliers, whether it be the local communities that they operate within. The stakeholder concept is the belief that businesses have a moral obligation to more, the state, more stakeholders than just their own shareholders. Now, one of the real pioneers of this belief or this ethos that businesses need to be more socially responsible is an English academic known as John Elkington, who was working around the same time as Kaplan and Norton when they were developing their own theories about a balanced scorecard approach to running an organization urging managers to base objectives and strategies on greater aspects than just the financial rewards of an organization. So Elkington developed a concept known as his triple bottom line, the three P's of appraising the success of an organization. So the first of Elkington's triple bottom line is a focus on profits. It's not like Elkington was denying that profits and shareholder rewards were important. He absolutely acknowledged that they were. So Elkington said businesses need to be focusing on things like shareholder returns and financial measurements like the ROCE or the gearing ratio of the organization. But in order to be sustainable, in order to appease to a a changing landscape where consumers are becoming more and more ethically conscious, businesses can no longer just focus on the pursuit of profits, according to Elkington. They've got to factor in other ideas as well. And so what Elkington was keen to stress is that businesses have a moral responsibility, but also if they want to be sustainable in the long term, they really want to do this for their own benefit and they want to focus on other aspects as well. So the second of those was to focus on people. So Elkington was an advocate of focusing on your employees. So focusing on things like employee welfare and how you can try and improve employee engagement and employee participation as a way of improving your organization. He was also advocating looking at things like customer satisfaction and customer opinions of an organization and seeing these things as just as important to the longevity and sustainability of the organization than this year's profit figure and dividend. He was also a big advocate of firms taking responsibility for their supply chains, treating suppliers fairly, but also going back into your supply chain and making sure that all the firms that you're doing business with and are supplying you with materials and components are being held to the same moral standards that you, owe, that you hold your own business to. 
Elkington also proposed that businesses have this moral obligation to think about the local communities where they're active and think about community support projects that they might be able to implement and thinking about how businesses might harm the local communities and trying to minimise any negative impacts on local communities as part of their strategies. Now, where Elkington does take a little bit of a different direction to Kaplan and Norton and their balanced scorecard, he's then thinking about his third P, which was planet and environmental responsibility. And Elkington noticed that at the time that he was developing his theories in the 1990s, a growing band of consumers were becoming increasingly environmentally conscious and were beginning to scrutinise businesses far more in terms of their environmental impact. And so Elkington proposed that businesses need to make the environment, the planet, one of their key foci as well. So making sure that businesses are measuring their impact and coming up with strategies to reduce their impact on the planet. And Elkington said that not only is this something that businesses have a moral obligation to do as a citizen in society, but it's also something that they have to do to be sustainable in the long run because now this is something that society is beginning to expect of the businesses that operate in our communities. And gone are the days where businesses can be successful by ignoring the needs of broader stakeholders and just focusing on the needs of their shareholders. So this theory became known as Elkington's triple bottom line, not just worrying about the bottom line of financial documents like balance sheets and income statements, but also worrying about other aspects that are now important to society, such as people, and planet as well. So that's Elkington's triple bottom line. That's another revision topic ticked off for you. We'll see you soon for the next tutorial. Keep on taking the biz.